Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're actually going to be doing a quick leveling guide for New World MMO uh, as we are in the preview and only have a certain amount of weeks to reach those high levels and do some high level content things. Uh, a lot of you guys are just kind of taking your time doing your own thing like I am, and that is fine. Look at that, we got a little crawling battle going on here. You got to love some of this content. Um, it's just, it doesn't get much better than this. Uh, I didn't really see what we had going here, but then I heard something in the uh, in the new world. Heard some voices going on, and and you just gotta look around every once in a while and see what you find. But uh, like I said, let's get back to the new world MMO leveling guide. Uh, so I said this is gonna be a quick tutorial or a quick guide, just kind of going over the fastest ways to level. Um, and there's a lot of ways to level and a lot of fun ways to do it, but there are definitely more efficient ones. So like I said, I played probably close to a hundred hours of new world MMO in the alpha uh, but coming into the preview I have taken it much slower and uh, I've messed around with crafting I've messed around with all the fire staff the uh, the hammer the hatchet uh, the bow the muskets and now I'm on the sword and shield like I previously was on the alpha but the one thing we're gonna look at this time around is uh, like I said the leveling and that all starts with the journal. So in the journal, you're actually going to have tasks like usual, like you would assume you would have. But there's going to be uh, a main quest storyline, and then there's going to be side quests. Uh, if you're just trying to level fast, I would ignore those side quests. Uh, a side quest right now that I have is the top of Arcturus, um, and that's just one that I will not be pinning. So right here on the right, you can actually pin and unpin. So I would unpin all side quests and stick to the main quest. The main quest will give you the uh, Corruption's Bane. The Corruption's Bane is how you do Corrupted Portals. And Corrupted Portals are a great way for XP and gear. Um, I'm going to hit the M real quick and you'll be able to see the map. So all the top level stuff for the most part is here uh, in the neutral zone. Uh, Morningdale, Restless Shore, Weaver's Fen, and Brightwood, right? So this is all probably the top, uh, you know, top levels, let's say. Uh, but there are going to be corrupted portals uh, at level 25. You can start doing, or about level 20, 25. You can start doing corrupted portals uh, with buddies, and um, you can get some good XP and definitely some good drops. But uh, at, at the moment on my map, I'm only seeing these, so I'll show you these real quick. Up here we have the corrupted monoliths and the uh, corrupted, what, what was the other one? Infested groves. So we have a bunch of little um, infected things you can do. Uh, but you're going to need, like I said, the main storyline has a reward that gives you the corruption's bane. And that's going to definitely help your XP rate when you get those corrupted portals and are able to do them. But until you get there, like I said, complete the main storyline. So right now my main storyline is my main storyline and it's actually everybody's main storyline is forging corruptions bane so complete quest ancient ruins is my current task at hand so right now the only one i have pinned out of all the faction missions town projects and all the quests is ancient runes and in the ancient runes it says travel to canary mine so if we want we can actually just look on the map and this is the ancient runes that's where i'm going to be needing to travel next uh, to get closer and closer to completing the main storyline. At level, like, I believe 23, uh, or 22 probably, you can complete the main storyline by then, and uh, you can get doing whatever you want to do, whether that is the next, um, probably, this is close to best XP uh, you can get right now in New World, and that's going to be the Syndicate missions, or if you're a Marauder, It'll be a Marauder Missions board or a Covenant Missions board here in the top right. Um, in the top left, you get the Marauders Mission board. And then in the bottom left, we have the Syndicate Mission board. And that's going to be different uh, per town. Every town's going to have, not a fort, but every settlement's actually going to have those. Um, you know, the Covenant, the Syndicate, and then the con <laughs> and then the Covenant. I don't know what I was about to say. I think I said a corruption. But you have all three of them in every settlement just like usual. So in this settlement, they're going to be at a different location than the other settlements and things like that. But we're going to actually take a look at the mission board and kind of explain uh, how to get the best XP when you're doing these missions. So uh, you're going to have three PvE missions and three PvP missions. PvE missions are going to have rewards shown just like PvP missions do in the... Um, in the rewards tab so you when you hover over them you'll actually be able to see so this one uh, this PVE mission gives you 60 tokens 31 coins 
and 250 territory standing and 2250 XP which is the big one so you're gonna want to do to really really kick in uh, XP if that's your main goal here you're gonna want to do some PvP missions as you can see these XP rates are much higher than the PvE missions um, so you're gonna want to try some of these PvP missions it's gonna help you out a lot uh, the delivery is a very very easy one it just takes quite a, it's quite a distance to run uh, but it is a very easy one. You're usually going to make it there without dying. Uh, there's there's great ones to do here, but another great way, a great way of uh, making sure you're doing it quickly is to look at the uh, d destination is the big one. So this one shows it's 490 meters away. The one that gives you 12,000 XP, there's a reason it gives you 12,000 XP. Look how far away Restless Shore is. 5.22 kilometers. So, kilometers, sorry. That's going to be an absolute crazy amount of running you're going to be doing and it actually probably won't be worth it uh taking that mission you'd rather probably do the shattered obelisk and get that 6250 xp because just two of those um will probably take less time than doing the delivery so make sure you go into your mission board uh kind of see what works best for you and i know this is an xp or leveling guide um but we're going to look at the rewards as well because the rewards are unbelievable. Uh, some of the rewards you can get in here um, are just absolutely incredible. They're, you're buying what you see. So that's the big thing here is uh, you're not crafting and getting RNG to see what kind of perks you get. You get to see the perks right off the start. So, you know, like drops, when you get a drop, you have a chance at different, you know, perks. But here you see the perks before you buy them and that can really help you out because you can you know see what you need and buy that uh, that gear specifically um, and it has some of the best gear you know in the game really uh, from what I can tell it has some of the gear that will really get you um, I don't know get you those higher levels quicker so definitely take a look at some of the gear and it'll kind of pump you up to do some of those PvP missions uh, and kind of grind through that and let's be honest PvP is usually more fun than PvE anyway uh, for most of my Albion online and WoW uh, players, they they usually agree with that statement. But you know, do what you want, do what you uh, do what you please. But so that PVP mission board is definitely going to be one way to quickly get XP. Uh, and then I did say the corrupted portals, um, which you know on the map right now, the only really place to do corrupted portals, unfortunately, is in the neutral zone up here. That's most most of you guys probably are not to level forty. Or level 45 and are not able to go into this neutral zone and do these corrupted monoliths or anything yet but those do come down to uh, Everfall and Windsward and Monarchs Bluffs and you can do level 20 25 corrupted portals and those do give you great XP and uh, again loot so make sure you guys do those as well but like I said just do the main storyline and uh, corrupted monoliths and mission boards and those are really the main three uh, I'm just going to give you guys a quick tip as well. Uh, most of you probably do know this by now, but if you don't, this is a very, very helpful tip. Uh, as we get smoke screen there, smoke screen the whole uh, <laughs> the whole walkway. Um, you're going to want to make sure you have a ranged weapon in your in your setup. Uh, a ranged weapon is going to be very important because, like WoW in any other game, uh, you're going to want to kite in some situations, as well as not really steal in this game. Thankfully. Uh, everybody shares XP. So if you just hit a, uh, if you just hit somebody once with your ranged weapon, it'll actually share the XP amongst everybody equally. So you'll all get full XP. Actually, you don't share. Sorry, uh, you'll all share, but you'll get full XP. So you share the kill and all get that quest um, reward for getting the kill, but you share. Um, well, I'm sorry, I keep saying share, but you you get full XP for the kill. So just make sure you hit everything once. Uh, and you'll get full XP every time it dies. So just bring a ranged weapon and make sure you're hitting everything before it goes into uh, the large mobs that you guys are going to be having in some of these situations. I know, where was I last? Um, I think I was down here. Somewhere near Monarch's Bluffs, I was down there doing some kind of mission, I believe. And uh, the competition's pretty insane. So you're going to want to definitely make sure you bring a ranged weapon and try to snipe things before they get into the angry mob and... Uh, they die before you can even get your one melee attack off and sprint over there and get it off. So make sure you bring a ranged weapon. Like I said, that'll be just one little quick tip for you. Uh, but for the most part, um, I kind of shared with you guys the fastest ways of leveling. 
we're gonna try to like dig a little bit deeper into some actual content of pvp and some probably corrupted portals or something like that uh so just let me know in the comments if you guys have any quicker ways of leveling uh like i said i'm only level 15 but uh that is because i've been kind of just taking it slow and i'm probably gonna be taking it slow this time around making some videos content for you guys to see uh, what the preview is really looking like or if you have the preview just to kind of share my experience compared to your experience so um, if you like the video leave a thumbs up and subscribe but I'll see you guys in the next video uh, hopefully with some some content for you guys to watch instead of just listen but I'll see you guys next time have a good one